Welcome to your daily COVID-19 update for today, Friday, February 25, 2022. Over the last 24 hours, we had 58 new cases, um, and they're distributed in almost all the regions, with the exception of um, regions uh, 2, 8, and 10. Um, didn't record any case for um, yesterday, but I suspected they probably didn't do a lot of testing in those regions. But again, we are seeing cases in all of our regions, and right now we have active cases in every region of Guyana. We currently have about 828 cases. So while this is a reduction from uh, previous days and previous weeks, uh, it is still something that we have to be concerned about because not everybody who probably would experience COVID is coming in to be tested. Right now we have 50 persons in hospital, most of those persons at uh, they are at Ocean View Hospital, 37 of them, and we have 10 of them in the ICU. We have one person who is in um, the Saudi Hospital in Region 2. We have another person in Region 3 at the West MRR Hospital. We have one person um, who is in the Region 5 facility. We have five persons in New Amsterdam, in the new facility that we have built. Uh, we have one person in Bartica. Uh, we have four in Madia. So these are the regional distribution so far. In terms of vaccination numbers, uh, adults right now, we are at 431,000. 597 doses, that's about 84.1% receiving a first dose. Second dose, we are at 326,867, that's about 63.7% of the adult population, that's 18 years and above. Um, in terms of the persons 12 to 17, uh, we have completed 33,476 vaccination in that age group for first dose. That's about 45.9% of that age cohort. And for second dose, it's 24,134, or 33.1% of that age cohort. Uh, booster doses right now, that has gone up a little bit. So we're at uh, 49,742 doses. And again, we want to appeal to people to make sure they come out and get vaccinated. There's an, a company that has been working on a vaccine, Sanofi uh, GSK. But their initial trials with this vaccine, um, the efficacy was not great. But they have done some additional work and in the latest clinical trials, the phase three clinical trials, uh, they have shown that the vaccine is 100% effective to prevent uh, severe disease from COVID-19 and to prevent hospitalization. So if you get vaccinated with this particular vaccine, uh, your chances of being hospitalized is almost zero. So that's a very positive thing. However, in terms of getting infected, it's about 58% effective. So you can still get infected, but the good thing is you wouldn't get hospitalized. Um, so that's, that's very positive. So that right now, that vaccine has been put uh, in front of the U.S. Uh, Drug Administration and they are going to review it and hopefully they would authorize uh, its use in an emergency way. And maybe following that, then they would license it uh, properly. But that's uh, another vaccine that has been added 
or would be added shortly to the vaccines that we already have. Uh, in addition to that, there's another one that is going through emergency use authorization by the FDA, and that's the Novavax uh, vaccine. Uh, this was one, again, that had good uh, reviews in terms of prevention and efficacy to prevent uh, hospitalization and deaths. Uh, the U.S. now is considering it, but it has already gained approval in Canada and in the EU, and it's becoming more and more available. So these are two new vaccines that um, we certainly are looking at to see um, how it progresses and whether we would want to adapt them for use here in Guyana. So one of the things that um, with the Pfizer vaccine is that they have seen that on very rare occasions that persons receiving the vaccine, especially males receiving the vaccine, can develop uh, myocarditis and that's a inflammation around the heart or the inflammation of the heart muscle. Um, so because of this, although it's rare, it is still there and so they have been trying to figure out what to do um, with, with this type of reaction that some people might have and they found that if you um, increase the interval between first and second dose that it reduces this impact on, on the myocardium of the heart and therefore uh, the FDA recently would have recommended that the regimen between first and second dose be increased. So uh, this is something that I think a lot of countries now are considering. They're assessing the scientific data and considering whether or not they need to make these changes in their regimen. So we are going to do that. The technical committee in the ministry would meet, have these discussions and based on the information that we are seeing from the US FDA, we might be able to make those adjustments. Similarly, with new findings, they're also saying for the Moderna vaccine, um, you probably would need to shorten the, the, the time interval between the second dose and the booster dose. Uh, fortunately, we are not using so much Moderna. We had used some Moderna in the past, but we are not using that uh, regularly here in Guyana. And therefore, we don't have to probably make those adjustments. But it's something that um, we'll have to bear in mind because other countries are making such adjustments. You have been watching the daily COVID-19 update for today, Friday, February 25, 2022.